Hey guys, welcome back to the next part of the Minecraft Pixel Art tutorial for Thanos. And uh, just to get this out of the way, I no longer have access to my Master Chief skin, so this is going to be my uh, skin from here on out. This is, isn't even just one skin, this is just a bunch of cosmetics that I threw together so I can make it look like my OG skin, my original skin back on the Xbox 360 days, which was Loki from the Avengers. So there's that. And of course, consider becoming a channel member today because you'll get early access to videos like this so you can go ahead and make these brand new pixel arts a lot earlier than everyone else. I'll also be putting a link to my Discord down below in the description. Go ahead and join it. If you become a channel member, you'll also get a role within my Discord. So now let's go ahead and continue from where we last left off, which was somewhere around here because that was ages ago. Uh, we're going to go ahead and introduce, let's go ahead and start with the darkish colors. Let's go with the black terracotta the gray terracotta, the brown terracotta, the brown concrete, and we'll start from there. Uh, first thing, we'll start with the, let's see, we're going to go ahead and start with the brown terracotta, maybe? Kind of, yeah, let's we'll start off with the brown terracotta. And we're going to fly all the way up here to the left. And we're going to go to these 22 black concretes here. We're going to start underneath the right block, so starting from right there. We're going to be placing just one brown terracotta, so that's one. We're going to have to switch some of these blocks around so we can use the placement. All right, so now that we have that one brown terracotta there, we're going to be placing two blocks going down on the right from it. So that's one and two. Then you're going to be placing a linked three blocks going down on the right, a link three. So that's one, two, three. So the link three should look like this. And while we're here, let's go ahead and switch over to the orange terracotta real quick. And we're gonna be placing one orange terracotta on top of these three blocks, so that's one. And then we're also gonna be placing one orange terracotta on top of these two blocks, so that's one. So it looks like that. Now that we've done that, we're going to go ahead and actually go a little brighter, and we're going to switch over to the yellow concrete just for a moment. So let's make that our main block for just a second. So now with the yellow concrete, going back down here to the threes, so starting from there, we're going to be placing one yellow concrete going down to the right. So that's one. And once you've done that, you're going to go ahead and switch over to the black terracotta and place one black terracotta underneath uh, the yellow concrete. So that's one. Then you're going to switch back over to the yellow concrete, add one yellow concrete on the right side of the terracotta. So that's one. And then once you've done that, we're going to go ahead and switch back over to the black terracotta. So we're going to make this our main block for now. All right, switching over to the black terracotta, what we're going to be doing from here is we're going to start underneath this yellow concrete, so starting from right here, we're going to be placing six sets of twos going down on the right, starting underneath this block, six sets of twos. So that's one, two, one, one, two, two, one, two, three, one, two, four, one, two, five, one, two, six. That's six sets of twos with the black terracotta. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placements, and we're going to head back down here. And from here, we're going to be placing one block going down to the right. That's one. And now from this one block, you're going to be placing three sets of twos going down on the right. That's one, two, one, one, two, two, and one, two, three. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placements. Head back down here, and from here, we're going to be placing just one block going down to the right. That's one. And now from this one block, you're going to be placing two sets of twos going down on the right. That's one, two, one, and one, two, two. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placements. And now from here, we're going to be placing four blocks going down on the right. So that's one, two, three, four. Let's go ahead and make uh, get rid of that placement. And these four should be making contact with these other two black concretes that we have here. So I'll fly back a bit so you can see that everything should look exactly like this so far. Go ahead and pause the video now if you need to, just to compare. 
Now we're going to fly back down here, and from here we're going to be switching over to the brown terracotta. And with the brown terracotta, from the two black concretes that made contact with the four black terracottas that we just played, placed here, starting on top of the two black concretes right there, we're going to be placing just one brown terracotta, so that's one. Then you're going to switch over to the gray terracotta, add one gray terracotta on top of the brown, so that's one. And then from here, we're going to be placing one gray terracotta going up to the right. It's going just up to the right, that's one. Once you've done that, we're going to switch over to the red terracotta. So let's go ahead and add that to our inventory. And with the red terracotta, starting on top of the first brown, uh, not brown, but <laughs> starting on top of the first gray terracotta, starting from right there, we're just going to be adding from here three sets of twos going up on the left. So that's one, two, one, one, two, two, and one, two, three. Next, you're going to be placing from here two blocks going diagonal up to the left. That's one and two. Once we've done that, what we're going to be doing next is we're going to move one over to the left and go to these two black terracottas. On top of it, we're going to be adding just one red terracotta. So that's one. Okay. And now we're going to move one over to the left again. And on top of this, on top of these two here, we're just going to be getting one red terracotta. So that's one. And then once you've done that, we're going to move up uh, just one over to the left again. And this time, starting on top of this, we're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal up to the left. So two diagonal up to the left. That's one and two. So it should look like that. And now this time we're going to switch over to the orange terracotta. And with the orange terracotta, again, one over to the left. On top of these two, just add one orange terracotta. That's one. Once you've done that, move one over to the left. On top of these two, we're also going to be adding one orange terracotta. That's one. One more time. Move one over to the left. On top of these two, add one orange terracotta. That's one. And now for the last time, just once more going over on top of these two, add one orange terracotta. So that's one. So again, I'll fly back a bit so you can see that everything should look exactly like this so far. Go ahead and pause the video now if you need to just to compare. So now that we've done that, what we're going to be doing next from here is we're going to be switching over to the yellow concrete. So let's go ahead and switch that over to our main block. That's right next to our placement block, so we can keep switching in between. So switching over to the yellow terracotta, what we're going to be doing is we're going to, or not terracotta, it's yellow concrete, sorry, yellow concrete. Uh, switching back over to the yellow concrete, we're going to go back up here to where we la uh, last placed the, the yellow concrete. So starting from this block here, we're going to be placing two blocks going down on the right with the yellow concrete, so that's one and two. Then you're going to be placing one block going down to the right, that's one. And now we're going to be placing from here three sets of twos going down on the right. So that's one, two, one, one, two, two, and one, two, three. Next, you're going to be placing three blocks going diagonal down to the right. So that's one, two, and three. Okay, so now that we've gotten our three here, from here we're going to be placing it three sets of twos going down on the right. So that's one, two, one, one, two, two, and one, two, three. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placements. Head back down here, and from here we're going to be placing three blocks going diagonal down to the right. That's one, two, and three. Let's go ahead and get rid of those. Head back down, and from here we're going to be placing two blocks going down on the right. That's one and two. And now place one block going down to the right. That's one. And should be making contact with the top block of these two black concretes here. Again, I'll fly back a bit so you can see that it should look exactly like this. Now, we're going to switch over to the orange terracotta, and with orange terracotta, we're going to be filling in these small little empty spaces right here. Not this space that's up here above the yellow, and not this other space over here to the that's to the left of the black uh, terracotta. We're only going to be filling in these small empty spaces in between 
the red and the yellow that we have here. So fill that in with the orange uh, terracotta. So just fill this in. There we go. So it should look like that. And now all we're going to do next is now switch over to the yellow sand. Let's switch over to the yellow sand. And with the yellow sand, we're going to start on going back down here from the last block that we placed with the yellow concrete on top of this one block here with the yellow sand. So from here, all we're going to be doing is just, tr whoops. All we're going to be doing is just tracing the outline of the yellow uh, concrete with the yellow sand going all the way up. And we're going to stop on top of this yellow concrete. So starting from down here, just trace the outline like so. Very simple and easy. Trace the outline with the yellow sand. There we go. And we're going to stop right on top of the last yellow block that's up here. So I'll fly back a bit so you can see that it should look exactly like this. Very simple, very easy. And now, real quick, while we're here, we might as well do this right now just to get out of the way. Let's switch over to the sand block. And now with the sand block, we're going to be filling in this empty space that's right here. This one large empty space that's going all the way up here. Just go ahead and fill that in with the sand block. So let's go ahead and fill this in with sand. I'll do this in real time. Don't need to time lapse it. I'll be eventually I'll be time lapsing some parts because it's just going to be too long. You guys don't need to see me spent five to ten minutes filling in a large empty space. So let's just go ahead. But this isn't large. This is just pretty easy. Although it is time consuming when I misplace a block like that. I have to go back down and destroy it. I'm talking about the sand block that I accidentally misplaced just now. Okay, so let's fly down here, get rid of that sand block. There we go. So when you're done filling it in, it should look like that. Now we're going to switch over to, let's put away the sand block for now. We're going to be switching over to the brown terracotta where is it there it is okay switching over to the brown terracotta we're gonna move down here and we're gonna move to the bottom block of these four uh, black terracottas that we place here now starting from the bottom block from this block here we're just gonna be moving one block up from it so we're gonna move up one and we're gonna start from here we're gonna start on the left side so starting from right there we're going to be starting with the brown terracotta. So from here, we're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal up to the left. So that's one and two. Next, you're going to be placing two sets of twos going up on the left. That's one, two, one, and one, two, two. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placements. And now you're going to be placing one block going up to the left. So that's one. And now from this one block, we're going to be placing three sets of twos going up on the left. That's one, two, one, one, two, two, and one, two, three. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placement blocks. Head back up here. And from here, we're going to be placing one block going up to the left. That's one. Now from this one block, all we're going to be doing from here now is placing nine sets of twos going up on the left nine sets of twos so that's one two one one two two one two three one two four one two five one two six one two seven one two eight and one two nine that's nine sets of twos let's go ahead and get rid of those placements and head back up here. And now from here, we're going to be placing it two blocks going diagonal up to the left. So that's one and two. And it should be making contact with the black concrete that we have up here. So again, I'll fly back a bit 
So you can see that it should look exactly like this. Of course, pause the video now if you need to, just to compare. All right, and now we're going to be switching over to the gray terracotta. Now with the gray terracotta, we're just going to be filling in this empty space right here, the skinny empty space that we just created in between the brown terracotta and the black terracotta. We're going to be filling this in with the gray terracotta. So let's go ahead and fill this in. Fill that in with the gray. And we're almost halfway done really with Thanos' gauntlet finally. There we go. And filled in. Okay, so now that we have that filled in, what we're going to be doing next is, uh, well, well, I was gonna say we'll do a little time lapse here, but we're not even done uh, filling in uh, some some of the details up here that I just uh, <laughs> realized that. We ha still have a little more to go with Thanos' gauntlet when it comes to the detail down here. So let's go ahead and switch over to the red terracotta. Switching over to the red terracotta, let's head over here to the left. I want you to find... I'll fly back a bit so you can see where we are. I want you to find these two black terracottas that are going across. So go ahead and find these two. Alright, so once we find these two here, with the red terracotta starting on top of the right block of these two, starting from right there, we're going to be placing three blocks going diagonal up to the right. So starting from there, that's one, two, and three. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placements. Next, you're going to be placing three sets of twos going across on the upper level to the right. So that's one, two, one, and one, two, two, and one, two, three. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placements. And now from here, you're just going to be placing one block going up to the right. That's one. Now let's just quickly switch over to the orange terracotta and fill in this empty space that's right here with the orange terracotta in between the yellow and the red. Fill this in with orange. There we go. Next, we're going to go ahead and switch over to the brown concrete for just a moment. And with the brown concrete, we're going to move to this red here. On the right side of it, we're going to be adding one brown concrete. So that's one. And then you're going to be placing one brown concrete going up to the right. That's one. So it should look like that. Next, you're going to switch back over to the red terracotta, starting underneath the first brown concrete and also starting on the right side of these two black uh, concrete. So starting from right there. What we're going to be doing from here is placing three red terracottas going diagonal up to the right. So that's one, two, three. Once you've done that, you're going to switch back over to the brown concrete and starting on the right side of this red here and on top of this black. So right there, we're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal up to the right. So that's one and two. And once you've done that, you're going to go ahead and switch back over to the red and we're going to start on the right side of this brown concrete, so starting from there, we're going to be placing two red terracottas going diagonal up to the right. So that's one and two. And now that we've done that, what we're going to be doing next is switching back over to the brown concrete, starting underneath the red here, so starting from there, we're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal down to the right. So that's one and two. And once you've done that, what you're going to be doing next from here is moving back to this red here, right there. On the right side of it, we're going to be placing one brown concrete. That's one. And once you've done that, you're going to go ahead and switch over to the brown terracotta. Not the concrete, but the, now we're going to switch over to the brown terracotta. Starting on the right side of it, so starting from there, we're going to be placing two blocks going to the right. So that's one and two. Next, you're going to be placing three blocks going across on the upper level to the right. That's one, two, three. Once you've done that, you're going to be placing four blocks going across on the upper level to the right. That's one, two, three, and four. And now what we're going to be doing next is switching over to the brown concrete. And on the right side of these three brown 
terracotta. So starting from there, with the brown concrete, you're going to be placing two blocks going up. So that's one and two. So it looks like that. Now we're going to move over here to the right and underneath this brown uh, terracotta right there with the brown concrete, we're going to be adding two blocks going down with the brown concrete. That's one and two. So I'll fly back a bit so you can see that it should look exactly like this. Go ahead and pause the video now if you need to just to compare. Okay, so now we're going to switch over to the placement block. And with the placement block, I want you to go back to these three brown terracottas. And let's see, we're going to start on top of the left block of these three. So right there. And we're just going to be placing one placement block on top. So that's one on top of the left. And then switch over to the red terracotta. I'm going to make this our main block for just a sec. And on top of it, right there, we're going to be placing two blocks going to the left. That's one and two. And once you've done that, starting from the right block of these two, so starting from here, we're going to be placing two blocks going across on the upper level to the right. So that's one and two. And once you've done that, you're going to go ahead and switch over to the brown concrete. And we're going to move up here to the left. We're going to move to this one brown terracotta. Underneath it, we're going to be adding one brown concrete. So that's one. Once you've done that, switch back over to the red terracotta and on the left side of this brown concrete, you're going to be adding one red terracotta. And also underneath the brown concrete, you're also going to be adding one red terracotta. So that's one. So it should look like this. Now, once you've done that, you're going to be switching over to the brown concrete. And with the brown concrete, you're going to be filling the remaining empty space that's right here with the brown concrete. So let's go ahead and fill this in with the brown concrete. like so there you go again I'll fly back a bit so you can see that it should look exactly like this so far okay so now uh, let's see let's move over here to the left yeah we still have a little more up here above this uh, stone to work on uh, so, for this next part, we're actually going to be using the red terracotta. Now, with the red terracotta, I want you to start and find these three black concretes that are making contact with these four blocks here that are going diagonal to the left. So, go, go to these four, or not the four, but go to these three black concretes, and we're going to start on top of it with the red terracotta. So, starting from there. With the red terracotta, you're going to be placing two sets of twos going up on the left. So that's one, two, one, and one, two, two. So it should look like that. Next, you're going to be placing three blocks going diagonal up to the left. That's one, two, and three. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placements. And once you've done that, what you're going to be doing next is switching over to the brown concrete on top of the red. So starting from there, you're going to be placing three brown concretes going to the left. So that's one, two, three. And once we've done that, you're going to be switching over to the brown terracotta on the left side of these three brown concretes with the brown terracotta starting from there. You're going to be adding two brown terracottas going down. So that's one and two. Once you've done that, you're going to switch over to the brown concrete. I'm going to switch that, that over to my main block for now. Now with the brown concrete, starting underneath these two brown terracottas, so starting from there, we're going to be adding six brown concretes going to the left. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Then you're going to be placing two blocks going across on the lower level to the left. So that's one, two. Once you've done that, you're going to be placing one, or not one, but two blocks going diagonal down to the left, two. So that's one and two. I'll fly back a bit so you can see that it should look exactly like this so far. So now what we're going to be doing next is switching over to the brown terracotta. With the brown terracotta, we're going to move over here to the left, and we're only going to be filling in this one spot right here. 
this area right here, just this one spot with the uh, uh, with the brown terracotta. So just fill this in with brown terracotta. And then once you've done that, we're going to move up to the right just a bit from here. We're going to this empty space that kind of looks like an L that fell over. This empty space that's right here gets filled in with the brown terracotta as well. Let's fill this in. So it looks like that. And now once you've done that, you're going to go ahead and switch over to the red terracotta. And we're going to be filling in these two and these spaces right here. This space and this space with red terracotta. Let's fill this in with the red terracotta. So it looks like that. And now we're going to switch over to the orange terracotta. And we're going to move over here to the right. We're going to move to these four black concretes that we have here going across. We're going to start on top of the right block of these four. So starting from right there, right here, we're going to be placing five orange terracottas going diagonal down to the right. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. So it should look like that. And once you've done that, you're going to go ahead and switch over to the red terracotta. And we're going to be filling in these four empty spaces here. This one, two, three, and four. Just these four empty spaces with the red terracotta. Fill that in. So it looks like that. Of course, I'll fly back a bit. So you can see that everything should look exactly like this so far. And now comes for one of the final details before we fill in the rest of the bottom half of the gauntlet. Uh, we're going to switch over to the black terracotta. I'm going to make that our main block for now. Switching over to the black terracotta, it's just going to be us adding a little little dashes here and there. And to start, let's go ahead and find a nice place to start. Uh, let's go up here. I want you to go to this area right here. See these two? Gray, ter uh, gray terracottas that we have here going across. Find those two right there. We're going to start with the placement block. Starting underneath the right block of these two right here, starting from there, we're going to be adding two placements going down. So that's one and two. Once you've done that, switch back to the black terracotta, starting underneath the placements right there. We're going to be placing three blocks going diagonal down to the right. So that's one, two, and three. Get rid of those placements. Now switch over to the placement block, going back to this first black terracotta here. On the left side of it, so from here, we're going to be adding five placements going to the left. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Switch over to the black terracotta starting under on the left side of the placement. So from here, we're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal down to the right. So that's one and two. Now let's go ahead and get rid of those placements. Once you've done that, switch back over to the placement block. And with the placement block starting on the left side of this black terracotta, so starting from right there, we're going to be adding from here five placements going down. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. So it looks like that, five placements. And now you're going to go ahead and switch over to the black terracotta starting underneath the placement. So from there, we're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal down to the right. So two diagonal down to the right. That's one and two. Get rid of those placements now. And once you've done that, you're going to switch back over to the placement. And this time, we're going to head back over here, going back to where we first started, where we had these three. Going back to these three right here. We're going to start from the bottom block of these three, so starting from this block. On the left side of it, so starting from right here, what we're going to be doing from here is placing six placements going down. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. And now we're going to switch back over to the black terracotta starting underneath the placement. So from there, we're going to be placing three blocks going at diagonal down to the right. So that's one, two, and three. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placements now. Head back down here, starting from this block right here on the left side, switching back over to the placement, of course. Starting on the right side of that block right here, we're going to be placing five placements going to the right. So that's one, two, three, four, five. 
switch back over to the black terracotta starting on the right side of the placement so from here we're going to be placing three blocks going diagonal down to the right that's one two and three let's go ahead and get rid of those placement blocks now switch back over to the placement starting underneath this block right here we're going to be adding three placements going down that's one two three switch back over to the black con uh, black terracotta starting on the left side right there we're going to be placing three blocks going diagonal up to the left that's one two and three get rid of the placements and uh now oh <laughs> that's fine that we place three here um now that we have these three here let's go ahead and get rid of this block right here it was actually meant to to place two there we go that's my bad there. It's like I'm falling asleep or something. No, I'm not. Uh, switching over to the placement block. Heading back to here, that was supposed to be two. It's fine if you keep it as three, it doesn't really matter. Uh, starting underneath this block right here, right there, we're going to be adding from here seven blocks going to the left. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it should look like this so far. Switching over to the black terracotta, starting underneath the placement right there, we're going to be placing three blocks going diagonal down to the right. So that's one, two, and three. Let's go ahead and throw those placements. Fly back a bit so you can see that it should look exactly like this so far. And if you're wondering why I said it doesn't really matter if you make this two or three, it's because these are just little dashes, kind of like this. Just to kind of give uh, the gauntlet a little more realistic look to it. It's not like a main outline. Like, these are main outlines. The main outlines of a pixel art always matter. But just the little tiny details like this or that or this or that. doesn't really matter. So you could keep it as three or two. All right, so let's go ahead and switch over to the placement block again. And we're going to have to move up here. Going back to these two black concretes, we're going to start on the right side of these two. Here, I'll fly back so you can see where it is, those two right there. On the right side, starting from there, we're going to be adding three placements going down. So that's one, two, and three. Switch over to the black terracotta, starting underneath the placement. So from here, we're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal down to the right. That's one and two. Let's get rid of those placements now. Once you've done that, switch back over to the placement block, and with the placement block, we're going to move to up here. I want you to move to these two black concretes that are making contact with these three here. So going to these two here, starting from the bottom block on the right side of it, starting from there, we're going to be adding three placements going to the right. So that's one, two, three. Then switch over to the black terracotta starting underneath right there the placement we're going to be placing three blocks going diagonal down to the right that's one two and three let's go ahead and get rid of those placement blocks once you've done that switch back over to the placement we're going to head over here to the right and to the right uh, I want you to go to these two sets of twos that we have here with the gray terracottas and we're going to start from the first set, or the, the, the two that are up here the most. Starting from the top, uh, from the bottom block on the left side, so starting from there. From the bottom on the left, we're going to be adding three placements to the left. So that's one, two, three. And then you're going to switch over to the black terracotta, starting on the left side of these three placements. So from there, we're going to be placing two blocks going at diagonal down to the right. So that's one and two. Okay, let's go ahead and get rid of those placements. And now we're going to head back up here, going back up here, and we're going to switch to the placement block, starting underneath this block that's up here, this gray terracotta right there. We're going to be putting one placement block, so that's one. Switch over to the black terracotta, starting underneath the placement right there. We're going to be placing three blocks going at diagonal down to the right, so that's one, two, and three. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placements now. Next, switch over to the placement block again, and starting underneath the black terracotta that's up here, the first one that we placed up here, we're going to be adding two placements going down. So that's one and two. 
Switch back over to the black terracotta, starting underneath the placement block, we're going to be placing three blocks going diagonal down to the right. So that's one, two, and three. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placement blocks. And now switch back over to the placement, starting from the block that's right here, down here on the right side. We're just going to be adding two placements going to the right. So that's one and two. Switch back over to the black terracotta, starting on the right side of the placement. So from here, we're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal up to the left. So that's one and two. Let's go ahead and get rid of the placement blocks. I'll fly back a bit so you can see that it should look exactly like this. Go ahead and pause the video now if you need to, just to compare. Now we are going to be switching over to the gray terracotta just for a sec, and I want you to fly up here. We have these four small empty spaces in between the gray terracotta and the black terracotta. Go ahead and fill those in. This is one space right here. Fill this in with the gray terracotta. And then we're going to move up here to the left, and these three small empty spaces also get filled in with the gray terracotta. So fill those in. I'll fly back a bit so you can see that it should look like this. And this is to avoid um, any confusion that we have coming up because we're going to be filling in large parts right now. Uh, so next, you're going to be switching over to the brown concrete, and with the brown concrete, we're going to move over here to the left and up a bit. And this empty space right here, you see this empty space? Yeah, that single empty space that's right here, we're going to be filling that in with the brown concrete. So go ahead and fill this in with the brown concrete. Don't get your terracottas and your concrete mixed up. There we go. Now I'll fly back a bit so you can see that it should look exactly like this. And now, again, this is to avoid any confusion, we're going to uh, switch over to the brown terracotta. And with the brown terracotta, we're going to head down here. And what you're going to be doing with the brown terracotta is you're going to be filling in this empty space that's right here. That's just one big empty space. Don't, don't go over the, the outline, just down here. This empty space right here gets filled in with the brown terracotta. Let's go ahead and fill this in with the brown terracotta. Just double check and see if it's brown. And for this next, for these next two large empty spaces, I will time lapse. Actually, I don't think I'll time lapse it. I'll just uh, cut it out of the video because there's no need to time lapse. There's not a second screen. Okay, so I'll fly back a bit. I might bring the second screen back for the tutorials. I know some of you have been asking for uh, the second screen to come back. All right, so when you're done filling it in, it should look like that with the brown terracotta filling in that area. So again, I'll fly back a bit. So you can see that it should look like this. Now, you can see, minus it, uh, just minus the, the, the empty spaces that we have for the stones that are coming up in a later part, um, we have two large empty spaces down here left, and they're divided by the black, or not the black, they're divided by the gray terracotta. So, we're going to be using the, for this next part, the gray terracotta and the brown terracotta to fill in these two spots, these two large empty spaces. The gray terracotta is going to be filling in the large empty space over here to the left this empty space. And the brown terracotta, you're going to be filling in the empty space that's over here to the right. I recommend starting with the right, mainly for the fact that this the block that you're going to be filling in is also the same color as the, or is the same block as the outline. So I don't want you to accidentally kind of cross over, or accidentally fill in something you're not supposed to. So I recommend starting with the right side you're going to be filling in the right empty space, large empty space that's up here with the brown terracotta and then fill in the left empty space that's right here. All of this with the gray terracotta. So go ahead and do that now. And when you're done filling it in, it should look like this. So I'm going to go ahead and pause here and continue the Thanos Minecraft pixel art tutorial in the next part, part 12. And also consider becoming a channel member so you can get early access to the next part and also early access to other brand new pixel art tutorial parts that I have on the channel. 
And of course, don't forget to join the Discord. If you become a channel member and link your YouTube channel with your Discord account, you automatically get the channel membership role within my Discord. So with that being said, make sure to stay tuned in for the next part of the Minecraft Pixel Art tutorial for Thanos, and make sure to stay tuned in for more Minecraft videos.